Hey guys, it's Crystal Star with Illuminerdy, and I am here to talk to you about episode four of Star Trek's Lower Decks. So this episode is called Moist Vessel, and it's, uh, <laughs> what a name. Before I get into my briefing on the episode, I do want to say that this is the first episode that really felt like classic Star Trek. They're really starting to find themselves in episode four, and I'm not thinking of other shows they're trying to mimic. I know in episodes one and two, I was highly reminded of Rick and Morty. We did get Star Trek jokes throughout this episode as well, before they kind of overcompensated with a lot of jokes, but this one was a really good Star Trek episode, and honestly could have been not from this series. It could have been from any other series, and I would have been totally cool with it. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into what actually happened in episode four. This episode starts out with the command staff debriefing of a generational ship that's gone cold and they are transporting terraforming fluid, which basically is fluid that creates life. We have, you know, it's, it's a typical kind of sl slightly boring, um, but very professional meeting with this uh, command staff. And then we've got Mariner who breaks this tension with a giant yawn. <sighs> Completely just disrespects everyone in there, making her mom look super bad and unprofessional. So Jack and the captain come up with this great idea to have Mariner have the worst jobs ever so she can transfer off the ship and have it be her choice. Of course, they decide to give her some terrible tasks like getting the carbon off the carbon filters and cleaning out the fluid from the holodeck because apparently that's pretty much all the holodeck's really used for is for humans to secrete fluid. Think about that. Anyways, while Mariner is doing these awful, disgusting tasks, she's actually finding like the smallest joys in, in these and she's becoming surprisingly happy doing these disgusting tasks. This, of course, does not make her mom happy whatsoever. So instead of punishing her this way, she decides to do what Mariner might find the most disturbing thing ever. She promotes her to lieutenant. That's right, Mariner is completely shocked and disgusted. She hates authority. She doesn't want to be a part of this. I don't know why she's really in Starfleet to begin with, but she's damn good at it. So we hope she stays forever. Um, and as the main character, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's going to stay. While getting lieutenant, she's doing all these things that Boilmer would love to do, and he is so upset. He is like, what? This is what I've dreamed of. You're a lieutenant. I'm spending my entire life trying to be a lieutenant and you've got this dream job and you don't even like it. You don't care. What is wrong with the world? <laughs> and so he starts really taking note at what she's doing and how she became lieutenant WTF. And he decides, you know what? She's a mess up. She doesn't listen to authority. I'm going to do that. So Boilmer takes it upon himself to kind of screw up things even more. And um, it doesn't it doesn't work out so well for him, and you'll have to watch the episode to find out why. So getting back to the main plot of the entire episode, we've got a ship carrying terraforming fluid, and so we have Captain Freeman and the Tellarite captain, I don't remember his name, hauling the, you know, there's two starships that are towing the ship someplace. Essentially, the Tellarite captain, in a true Tellarite fashion, gets a little egotistical and wants to be better than everybody else. His way is the best way. So he kind of like, you know, falls back into formation, messing up the whole gravitational pull of this towing job. The teleforming fluid winds up somehow magically getting leaking from the other ship and engulfing both star ships and all chaos has broken loose. I feel like this is a main theme in a lot of the episodes so far. I feel like the starships have just been completely destroyed and taken over and um, then magically get saved with science. So another really cool thing that we get with this episode is more of that mother-daughter tension between Captain Freeman and Mariner. They can never agree on anything. And if you have parents like mine, I can never agree with my dad on anything. We totally share a love for Star Trek and other sci-fi things. We have a lot in common, but at the end of the day, we love, love hitting each other's buttons. We get a little bit of this in Deep Space Nine with uh, Captain Sisko and Jake. This relationship between Mariner and her mother is so much more for millennials, I feel, because I feel like you just have that resentment towards authority and your parents 
And I think that, you know, your, the parents are really trying to do the best for their kids, but don't know how to express that quite properly. And they are over, over parenting, over mothering, and just kind of like bombarding. I think that this episode does a really cool way of showing that. And I can't wait to watch this with my dad and uh, get his opinion on, on these scenes. It is a great Star Trek episode, not just a Lower Decks episode, but it truly belongs in the Star Trek family. And that's something that I was really, really worried about with the Lower Decks show in general was having it not quite fit the Star Trek universe. I'm a huge fan of Lower Decks and I will go to bat for the show because I think that the writers truly understand Star Trek. And after seeing episode four, I'll stick to that. So you guys let us know. What do you guys think about Lower Decks, the new Star Trek series? And again, we are on episode four, which is actually called Moist Vessel. I don't know if I said that at the beginning. Anyways, let us know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments below. And I will catch you next week with episode five of Lower Decks. Live long and prosper. Woo!